Leaking all over the place. This handle's no good now. Hey, this is Roy, the plant-based prepper, and I am back with another hack to my gas caddy here. So uh, this time I am replacing this cheap hose that leaks. Uh, the handle started leaking really bad uh, through the handle, and uh, the connector here was leaking, and so it's it's kaput. <laughs> I'm taking this off and replacing it with the better hose and handle. Uh, so this goes in the trash. Now if you haven't watched my previous videos, make sure you watch those so you know what I did to hack this tank first. So I will just go over it for you real quick. Uh, one of the first things I did was put one of these uh, inflator valves here. So it's an air valve that you can hook up a regular uh, foot pump or a tire inflator. I use ball pumps and I'll show you and demonstrate that again for you. I also replaced the wheels because the wheels did not have any grip and when you pull it, it would just slide all over the place, would not roll. So these right here I got at Home Depot and uh, you can get them on Amazon. There's actually a better quality on Amazon that I provide the link for. Um, oh, and uh, uh, deflator. So this is a manual deflator valve that you use for your cars when you go off-roading. So you can set this to whatever PSI you want. It's set for 5 PSI. So you put this on here. That way in the hot summer, this thing pressurizes. doesn't get too, uh, too much pressure. And this will release the pressure for you so it keeps it safe. Uh, I have it set to 5 PSI because all you need is 5 PSI to get gas out of this hose right here from the floor. Okay, so here is the fuel nozzle that I ordered. High quality. It has an actual sensor in it so it has an automatic shut off. It has a latch here to keep the handle up for you so you don't have to hold it. It also comes with a swizzle, a swizzle, comes with a swivel so that it does not kink the hose, right? So that's good to have. So that's what I got first right here. These right here fittings are three quarter inch. So that's what you need. Then you need a three quarter inch hose with three quarter inch fittings. Careful not to cut the hose. I'm going to use scissors. I don't want to accidentally cut the hose. So this is called a fuel transfer hose. It's 
the diameter is a little bigger than the original on the tank and uh, has three quarter inch looks like uh, male fittings on each side okay now I took the old holes off cut it and uh, it actually has a hose bib on the end so you can actually use a regular hose if you want I don't know how long it'll last but hey I have siphoned uh, gas out of cars before with regular hoses so it would probably work it just probably would not last as long as this since it has a uh, hose bib on the end that screws into the other valve on the tank you're going to need uh, this right here which screws on to the tank so that you can screw this in on the hose okay that'll go on like that the instructions on uh, this right here say to use thread sealant for fuel so I found this on Amazon it's called gas gasola thread sealant and it's good for fuel so put this on the ends of the threads uh, on all these adapters to help seal it so it don't leak the first thing we're going to do is relieve all the pressure out of the tank right because when you uh, disconnect that it might push gas out so make sure there's no pressure in the tank let's lay it down make it easier right turn this up a bit now this uh, right here has two shutoff valves so it has one uh, before you get to the hose one after the hose so we just have to disconnect the the one right here on the hose and leave the other one attached to the tank just disconnect I'm gonna go from right to left because it's upside down it's pretty easy all right this hose is off that simple now this has a rubber washer in it to help seal it when you put the other adapter on but just in case that don't work i'm going to put this sealant on every fitting on the threads because i don't want this leaking at all Turn the bottom too, so let's hold the bottom. Okay. Don't over tighten it too much because with that sealant there and that rubber washer inside, it should be good to go. Clean up the uh, sealant so it looks looks better. See how tight that is, not moving, should not wiggle around. I should have put this on first because this turns and this don't. So now I have to turn the entire hose. So make sure you put this on here first because it's easier to attach these two. Yeah, you know what? Let's just disconnect it and do it right. It's gonna be too hard that way. All right, now we don't have to turn the hose. Okay, let's clean it up. 
this trash. Since this has a swivel, you can tighten it without turning the hose too. Turning the hose because I'm holding the swivel. Good. It's on there. Yes. Okay. Here we go. There it goes, coming. All right, I gotta leave the nozzle in there. I wanted to show you the flow, but you can hear it, it's coming out pretty quick. No leaks from the valve down there from the tank, that's good. No leaks from the handle. Sounds like my pump is running out of juice. I'm going to go get my other one so you can tell the difference. All right, I'm going to switch pumps so you can see the difference in the two that I kept. If you haven't seen my previous videos, please watch those. I demonstrate many of these uh, little ball pumps for you and tire pumps that are really noisy. So you can tell the difference. This one goes upside down, but the readings are right here. Hold it down, and then you just click it turn on. This one is set to 12 PSI, and it will automatically shut off if the pressure goes beyond 12 PSI. I'm hoping that the automatic shutoff works filling up the truck this way. I know there's not much pressure, but maybe the fumes is what causes it to, to stop. So I'm hoping this automatically stops. We'll see. So the fuel dried up from my leak trying to show you the gas flow. So it's all dry. So you can see there's no leaks anywhere on the ground under the tank at the handle. So this hose works better. All right, well, it didn't kick off. 
So I don't know how those sensors work, but uh, it didn't kick off, started leaking. And if I pull this back, it'll probably keep leaking. Yeah. So sensor does not work with the gas caddy. I don't know if it works with more pressure, but uh, there you have it. Now we know. So don't expect it to kick off automatically, even though it's one of those nozzles. Um, too bad, but it's all right. This nozzle is still better than the last one. It has a swivel, so it won't kink the hose like this. Um, it fits in here very snug, and it has one of these levers for you. Uh, but you do have to stay with it. Don't let it overflow like I did just to test it. But uh, now we know. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and uh, put my gas caddies away, and that'll wrap up the video. Make sure you charge this back up. And keep it in your truck, because I've already lost it a few times by not leaving it in the cars. <laughs>